I created Matteo Messi in FIFA 23, the son of the GOAT, Lionel Messi. I will attempt to make Matteo Messi better than his father. Now, how the hell is that even going to be possible? Well, we're going to be judging it off of four criteria. First off, Matteo Messi must reach a 94 overall. That is the highest overall that Messi has ever had in any FIFA. Secondly, Matteo Messi must win four Champions League titles, the exact same as his dad managed. The third thing, he must win seven Ballon d'Ors. It could very well be eight, but we'll aim for seven. And the final thing, Matteo Messi must win a World Cup. Simply has to. Matteo Messi is going to be starting off his career at a 65 overall, so he stands out quite a fair bit in this Barcelona team. Somehow I don't think he's first on the team sheet. But let's get pushing up with this one, lads. And if we do pull this off, you have to like and you definitely have to subscribe. You may have noticed, looking at the calendar, we're in the year 2025. I advanced the game far enough so that way Matteo Messi was old enough to play professionally. This means we have a slightly different looking Barcelona team. You can see some new names and some new faces. Torres at left wing, Christopher Nkunku is the new centre forward and we've got Verratti there as well. Not a bad pickup to be honest with you. Even Leo Messi has returned to Barcelona as well. However, at 65 rated, I don't think Matteo Messi is going to play at all this first season, but let's simulate the first season and just see what, 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 what I don't know, let's see how involved he is. I'm just curious to see if he plays any game time at all this season. At the end of season one, Barcelona falls short in La Liga by just two points. They won the Supercopa, they won the Copa del Rey, but lads, I'm not going to add this to his total because he didn't play any time at all this season, really, and he's only gone up to 67. No appearances, no goals. I think I'm just going to send him away on loan, which is what we probably always should have done. By the way, check out the fit, by the way. I put myself in the game. I've made myself the manager, and I'm always looking fly. We're in now to season two. I'm going to add him to the loan list. We'll see who picks him up. Of all the teams, it had to be Messi's meme team. But hey, all things considered, he actually sort of looks like he belongs in this team. He might play almost every game. He's got to compete with 73-rated former Real Madrid striker Mariano. I don't know, man. I, re I reckon he might be able to get some good game time here. Hopefully he does anyway. Let's see how he gets on in his second season. Well, things don't go great for Ibar in the second division of La Liga in, in Smart Bank. They come in 11. But have a look at this. Matteo Messi finally gets up, and he gets up by a bit, up to 73 with 11 goals and 16 assists. No silverware, but we don't care. This is a two-year loan. He's got one more season here, and if he can keep growing like that, that'd be magnificent. Season three now with Ibar, his last year on loan. Another slightly disappointing season for Ibar. They're still stuck in that second division. But Matteo Messi is flying. He's up another three overall. He's got 17 and 12. Good numbers, even if it is the second division. 76 overalls, not a bad overall to be going back to Barcelona with. I, I imagine he'll hopefully get a game or two off the bench, but we'll see. And so back to Barcelona for little Matteo Messi. I, of course, make myself the manager of Barcelona once again, following him everywhere he goes. And I got a feeling this season with some more training, hopefully he might crack an 80 rating soon. The Barcelona team's kind of switched up a bit. You know, Messi is still playing despite being I don't even know 41 years old and he's still going but I am somewhat hopeful we might see Matteo Messi continue to grow and finally break into the Barcelona team what does Matteo Messi do in season four end of season four Barcelona look like they're gonna win the La Liga title and Matteo Messi uh, he, he finally gets some appearances I assume a lot off of the bench because only five goals for 25 appearances hey he's knocking on the door of an 80 and I am going to bring Matteo Messi on off of the bench. Let's see if we can't get him a goal to seal the title. Oh, Messi might not score. He might assist or he might get the pass to the assist. Yes, he will. 2-0 and Bass has got it wrapped up. There might be a chance for him. There might be a chance for him. There is one. Oh, it's denied. No goal off the bench, but a La Liga title. Finally a trophy for bloody Matteo. Took his time, but at last we can add one. His dad's won like 10 of these. Well, finally Matteo Messi's got his first. Again, we're not judging him on league titles. We're judging him on Champions Leagues, Ballon d'Ors and World Cups. Season five, we're a quarter of the way in and we haven't won any of them yet. At the end of season five, finally, we have reached a Champions League final. Matteo, only 20 odd appearances, only five goals. He's gone up to an 82 though. And he's played like six Champions League games. So if we win this, that counts. He won't start the game, not within Kunku at 90 rates it, but he might come off the bench. Will it finally be the first Champions League title here for Matteo Messi? Brilliantly worked. Tough chance. Not quite. A second time in Kunku! And Barcelona are in front. Matteo Messi can't get a game because this man's just on fire. 
Maybe this one. Yes, Fran Torres. Champions League title number one, I think. Well, on he comes for that man that's on fire. Will we get him that goal in the final, Matteo Messi? Oh my God, he's been completely annihilated by Tonali. How is that not a foul referee? Oh God, whatever, it is the, it is the title. Doesn't score off of the bench, but at some point he'll make it into the starting 11. Leo Messi was more of a role player when he won his first Champions League. So too is Mateo here, and that is the first of his career. It's actually a treble for Barcelona. Three more Champions Leagues to go, but we've got 15 seasons left to win him seven Ballon d'Ors. It's looking tough. Something that definitely will help out Messi this season is this. It looks like Nkunku's been sold to PSG. I think we can expect to see Messi get a lot more game time this season. And also, you may have noticed pretty much the entire Barcelona team away on national duty. The World Cup is on right now. Somehow Argentina didn't even make it out of the group, but it's okay because Messi wasn't even picked at all. But could this at long last be a breakout year for Matteo Messi? The end of season six, Barcelona do not make it to the final this time. We got dumped out by Newcastle. And Newcastle ended up winning it. Well, I know we're trying to make Messi the best here, but as a Newcastle fan, I'm bloody taking that. Messi finally has his breakout year. Wow, he's gone up by five overall. 24 goals, 12 assists. Finally, we're talking. I don't know if we'll win a Ballon d'Or without the Champions League. Christ almighty, it might be. We won everything to win in Spain. Even all the small European Cups, like the Super Cup and the Club World Cup. We nearly did the sex tuffle again. All right, maybe he can win the Ballon d'Or. Oh, no, nah, don't worry about it. It looks like he hasn't even been nominated. So no Ballon d'Or yet. At the end of season seven, once again, we are dumped out the Champions League in the quarterfinals. But Messi has an even better year. 35 goals, 10 assists, his best season by far. And we are nearly at a 90 rating with him. We win everything in Spain. We're winning literally everything but the Champions League. And he does win it. He finally gets his first Ballon d'Or without winning the Champions League, but finally won for Matteo Messi. He gets his first at the age of 23. When Leo Messi was 22, he had four. We've got a bit of catching up to do. At the end of season eight, we make finally another Champions League final. Hilariously, again, it's against Milan. It is still a very strong starting 11, even with an injured Ansu Fati. And it does win the Champions League final. That's number two. No goal for Matteo in the final, but he's up to 92, 33 goals, 18 assists. Could be another Ballon d'Or season. With yet another treble season, I don't see why he doesn't win it again. Oh, and not surprised, of course, he gets a back-to-back -back Ballon d'Or. Is Matteo Messi about to go on a run of four in a row like his, like his old pops? At the end of season nine, no luck. Unfortunately, we got dumped out by Liverpool. 1-0, that's it. However, people, the year is 2034. That is a World Cup year, and at long last, we're going to see Matteo Messi at the World Cup. It's not a crazy strong Argentina side, though, but a 94-rated Messi. By the way, we have equaled Lionel Messi's highest ever rating with Matteo Messi. That's the first thing ticked off. We add 34 goals and 25 assists to his total. Four more trophies as well with the World Cup coming up. This is looking very good as well. Argentina do make it out of the group. Let's see how the knockout stage goes. They are taking on Portugal first. They're out immediately to Portugal, a 2-0 loss. Not a great start for Matteo Messi's World Cup career. Despite the poor World Cup campaign, you know, I still fancy him for the Ballon d'Or. And yeah, no shocker, he's done it again three in a row. Up to 95 now, so he's even higher rated. At the end of season 10, we have got another Champions League final against Atletico Madrid. This is the halfway point, people, of the 20 seasons we've got. It's going to be played at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu, so it's an all Spanish final. Bele's injured, Balde is uh, suspended, so I wonder, will they get up with surely all those 90 rated players? And yes, yes, they do. 4 1, a huge win. And look at that. Messi's actually put it, uh, he's gotten a double. A brace, a 10 match rating, 96 overall, 44 goals, 25 assists. Mate, don't even bother. It's another Ballon d'Or. He's going to do it. He's going to get forward just like his dad in a row. And they do it by winning everything in Spain again. I tell you, this Barcelona team, it is just too cracked. The midfield is goated. Messi is just insane. And of course, he had to go and make it four in a row, just like his dad did. 97. I mean, could it go the whole way maybe ah the party somewhat stops we get to the semis but we don't make the final barcelona team's gotten a bit older a few players have retired now and we're, we're seeing a, a new look to this barcelona side it may struggle for a bit but mateo messi is not he gets 35 and 31 that is a 30 and 30 season that could be could that be five for the first time in a while we win neither spanish cup so i wonder if that plays into it Oh my goodness, I don't believe it. Player of the year, the Ballon d'Or goes to PSG's Bartley. They gave it to an 85 rated right back. What? 
Hang on. Messi gets 30 goals and assists in the same season and that doesn't get him a Ballon d'Or. I thought we were a lock of breaking Messi's record of four in a row. Five in a row has been thwarted. Good news, despite not getting that Ballon d'Or somehow, we have made another Champions League final. Can this new look Barcelona side with some injuries in it? Yes. Can it get that fourth Champions League for Matteo Messi? Yes, it can. Yes, it will. And it's the left back that scores it. Only a 1-0 win. Matteo Messi's numbers, he's actually not the top goal scorer anymore. We've got this Oliveira fella who we brought in, and he's actually got more. Pedri at 34 years of age is still banging in goals and assists. He's out-assisted Matteo Messi, so... He might not even win the Ballon d'Or this season. We're up now to 32 trophies with him. Matteo Messi might surpass Leo Messi's total trophies won. And yeah, there it is. Number five. He's back to winning Ballon d'Ors. Christ, and he's up to a 99. He's officially the highest rated player ever in FIFA. At the end of season 13, we're up to now. We've got another Champions League final, so we could break Messi's record. He's 99 rated now. Again, the team is all over the place. It's completely new. And again, it's another win. Just like Leo Messi, Matteo Messi does not lose Champions League finals. Five Champions League titles. Man gets 48 and 40. That is unbelievable. Messi would have never even gotten close to 40 plus goals and assists in a season. In fact, I've noticed now we have surpassed 500 goal contributions with Matteo Messi. And look, I'll be honest, we've only got a few more seasons left. We're not going to get to the thousand that Leo Messi got. But we could still maybe win that World Cup. We are in 2038, a brand new World Cup campaign coming up. Czech Republic, Morocco and Sweden in the group. That's not too bad, but... For Messi, it's going to have to be a massive carry job with him and Oliveira. The rest of the team is dog water. Argentina managed to top their group, and now we move on to the knockouts where they face Finland up next. 3-0 win against Finland. On to the next round. Next up for them, Portugal, the team that knocked them out four years ago. They get their revenge with this garbage team. They're still to the semis. Looks like it's Germany they'll face in the semis. They'll face France in the final if they get past them. And they do beat Germany. Messi bags a brace to send them to the final. Is history really repeating itself? Is Matteo Messi going to win a World Cup against France just like his dad did? This could be the one big one that we've been meaning to tick off for ages. Matteo has won five Ballon d'Ors with a sixth coming, but you only really get one chance at this World Cup. This is his moment. He has got to win it here and now. Typical. It had to be France in the final as well. The little Matteo Messi take home the 2038 World Cup. It is off and underway. Messi, great ball. This could be a big chance over the bar. We're coming close. Oh no, he's gotten that through. Big save. Can Matteo Messi swing in a good ball here? That is not oh, good enough. Messi out wide. I can see a ball. Oh, what a ball! What a goal! Matteo Messi with the assist, and it's Diaz! Pass back out to the man that took the corner. That man's Matteo Messi. What a ball pinpoint on his head. And the good header too means Argentina lead the World Cup final. And it could be Messi to kill it off from here. Messi is in here. Messi can finish this, and Leo Messi will finish it! Leo Messi. Oh, I'm getting PTSD. I'm getting flashbacks. It's Matteo Messi! Matteo Messi in the 85th minute seals it just like his father did. He very well could be the World Cup final. It's won by Argentina for the fourth time. And for the first time, Matteo Messi. Two Ballon d'Ors, that's all we've got left. You know after last season, 40 goals, 40 assists, and now a World Cup trophy. He's got the sixth in the bag. And uh, yeah, no, no surprises there. We pick up number six. One more good season, we'll get the seventh Ballon d'Or, and we will officially crown Matteo Messi as the new GOAT. And at the end of season 14, they make another Champions League final. This could be number six, which not even Ronaldo has won. No one, I don't think, has ever won six Champions League. Is it one last trophy for Messi? Let's make it happen. To do what no one's ever done before, and I'm pretty confident of this, but not totally, but win six Champions League titles. History about to be written, baby. And we are off and underway. Oh, oh, defender's fallen over here, and Messi is away with all that pace, 99 pace. No way they're stopping him. No way he's not scoring. Little Mateo in another Champions League final. Defender got dropped, and this was placed perfectly in the bottom corner. 
Plants on here, left foot. Yes! Through again! It's his, it's all his, he's the king. Huge gap up the middle, we just find Messi, and again, Kipper got a hand to it, not enough. Can we get him a Champions League final hat trick? Gosh, that would be damn beautiful. Mateo's in the middle. Oh, you know what? He might get on the end of this. Maybe not quite. Maybe a chance still for the hat trick. I don't think we're going to get it. No, we're not. God damn it. But we'll get the Champions League title number six. Are you kidding me with this? How many Ballon d'Ors now? How many Champions Leagues? A World Cup. And now the 99 overall as well. Forget about it. Matteo Messi is goated and he lifts up number six. Another Champions League title for the son of Leo Messi. The now former GOAT, surely. Oh yeah, he has yet another Ballon d'Or worthy season. Leading goal scorer, most assists in the team. He also goes to 43 trophies for his career with all these five as well. He just missed out on the Copa del Rey. Ah, oh, what a shame. What an absolute freak. We've done everything we've needed to do. There's just one thing left, that seventh Ballon d'Or. Let's advance on forward and make it official. And there it is, to make it official, number seven for Matteo Messi. A World Cup, six Champions Leagues, but he's seven Ballon d'Ors, and all oh, the 99 overall. All at the age of 30 as well. God damn, take that, Messi. Leo Messi, that is. This is getting confusing. Let's just crown him. I'm claiming it now, we have successfully made Messi's son better than him. Congratulations, little Matteo lads. If you've enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. I can't believe we actually pulled this off. I'll see you all for the next video. Bye-bye.